Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to make a low pass filter. So today our aim is to design a second order low pass filter known as Butterworth filter. So for this first we have to take op amps. So click on press and log, go for op amp, type here 741 and take it. So we have taken op amp, now we need resistance. Then basic, click on register. So we have taken register. Then we have to take capacitance. So far we have taken capacitor. We have taken capacitor. Now we need power supply. So go for sources. From here we are taking ground. This is the ground. VCC. Then VDD. Then we are going to signal voltage source. Then we are taking AC voltage. So these are the components. Now I am going to close it. So now we have to connect this. Connect this. So pin number 7 is connected with 10 volt. So double click on this make it 10 volt for pin number 4 control r to rotate this and then we have make the connection pin number 4 to minus 10 volt now we have to come to the circuit so we are having only one resistance we have taken it so control c and control v is also applicable here so we need six four resistances r1 then r2 r3 just control v test it four resistances then two capacitance so we have taken this now we have to make this circuit so this is the input now I am making this circuit Control R is used to rotate the components. Okay. Now make the connections, connect the wires. R4 between 2 and 6 R4 Control C Control V to the ground now we have made the complete circuit now we have to change the capacitance values so double click on the values what value we want to change it now this i make 0 0.01 microfarad similar to this again 0 0.01 microfarad this capacitor i have to make ground i have grounded it now complete circuit is ready okay to connect this also.
so we have made the complete circuit now we want to see the response now click on this output node properties now put it here v out so now you will see v out came here so mark it here now for this input again same thing click on properties right here v in apply okay just a minute i think i have not clicked on to the show the net name yeah apply okay. now after making this circuit you go to the simulate then analysis go for ac analysis click it here now you will see a start frequency and a stop frequencies set so for frequency is 10 gigahertz make it 10 megahertz then vertical we want in decibel output what i want at the output we want v output voltage to see it input voltage is one volt peak so it will be the same output will be the gain here now i am going to simulate it now you can see it here see this is the a low pass filter now you can click here grid so the grid now grid came here so this is the magnitude response this one is the phase response so this phase response is difficult to measure onto the CRO but here we can see it now to find the cutoff frequency you click it here cursor so cursor came here now we have to move the cursor from the highest what what the highest value is here you can see here this is cursor number two so cursor number two is, you can see this particular value y2 is constant six no bring it here now it is in see when this value goes to three six minus three db Twelve six. We have to make three. So that frequency will be the cutoff frequency. You can see here to make I'm making it three difference. So here it difference is coming here. You can see it here. Dy. When it comes to minus three, just see three. So this is the frequency ninety x to 19.87 so this is the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter so by this way we are simulating it this particular response i hope you have learnt it how to see the uh, the output of the low pass filter so you can see this particular thing if you want you can change this also i have taken in db if you right click here if you want to want linear scale you click it here this is then gain previously we have taken gain in db in decibel so this is the ac analysis response of the low pass filter i hope you have understood how to make this particular circuit and how to see the output of a low pass filter response thank you